What's up, guys? Welcome back. Breathe, bounce, move that head. There you go. <laughs> Good knees, get control. Strike this. Last week or two weeks ago, I spoke about my mindset, the changes that I've made. And even early on, me growing up and growing with the sport, I've had to make a lot of tough decisions. And many of those decisions that I made, they were not the best decisions because one, I didn't think of the possible consequences. And honestly, I didn't have a goal. I thought that, okay, whatever decision that I make, it is what it is. Whatever happened happens and it's just gonna work. And that was the selfish side of me where I just thought, okay, well, if I do this, who cares, right? Who cares if I don't show up to the gym? I mean, like, no one's going to notice, right? Who cares if I told my coach I'm going to go to the gym and then next thing I know, I just don't show up. Like, who cares, you know? I'm just going to make decisions. Whatever comes out, comes out. And so I didn't stop to think and realize the potential consequence, right? The, the consequence of me giving myself bad reps because one, if I told my coach, hey, I'm going to show up and I don't show up, one, um, who am I lying to, right? And then I'm building those reps where I don't keep my word. And then I'm also not being disciplined. And so when I first started doing that, I, I didn't realize that it was only going to affect me. Like my coach, yeah, he can keep me accountable. But for him, like it's, you know, we come to the gym. Okay, cool. But outside the gym, how am I living my life? And it was the same way. I would lie to my parents and I will lie to my relationships and I didn't think anything of it until it bit me in the ass over the years because people stopped taking me serious and people didn't believe me anymore and so when people stop taking you serious guess what happens they stop respecting you and one thing that I hated over the years is not being respected or not feeling respected, but it was not towards anybody else, but it was for me. And so I had this big decisions to make over the years to one, I knew I needed to change, right? But the best way to make certain decisions is just like an MMA. In MMA, when we're fighting, we need to make decisions right there and then like there is really no time to think because in your in that three minute round three to five minute round you got to make a decision fast and what is the goal of that decision right to win whatever the case is it could be a knockout it could be a submission if you're wrestling you got to get that pin so that's the goal but whatever the decision that you do has to be directed towards that goal and so that's the way that I've been able to change my mindset on making decisions is how are these decisions going to help me, going to help others? And is this the right decision towards my goal, towards my future? Back then I used to be like, ah, I mean, I don't show up, who cares, right? Who cares? But we care, people that love you care. People that love you will keep you accountable for the decisions that you make. And the biggest piece of that is the communication of it. So yeah, when, when we communicate our decisions, we're pretty much announcing to these people, hey, this is what I'm gonna do. But now I have that liability, that responsibility to make it happen. And sometimes we put a lot of pressure, like, okay, now we gotta make it happen, but we gotta make it happen somehow. And that's how people start developing that trust and that respect for you. When you say something and you do it, then you develop that self-respect and people start respecting you. Now, not everyone's going to think the same way, but at least you know for a fact that you're the one that said it and you lift it. And so making decisions is, is challenging. In MMA, it is challenging to come into the gym and put in the work. It's challenging to make the decision to say, okay, I'm going to compete or I'm going to show up to the gym even though I'm fucking tired. It's a big decision, but those decisions are only going to impact long-term, in long-term, right? And that's how we start. I, I started small. I started coming in consistently one, two days out of the week. And that's 
And that's the same thing with my life. I started making decisions where I said, you know what? I'm not gonna lie to myself anymore. I'm not gonna lie to the people that I love and I'm not gonna lie to, to the people that I trust. And I started very small, taking small little steps so that I could be honest with myself and I can change. Because the biggest goal here has always been, okay, I wanna be the best version of myself, but then how am I gonna get there? I'm not gonna get there by lying. I'm not gonna get there by putting on a fake smile. I'm not gonna get there by faking it till I make it. Like I'm gonna get there by being honest with myself and putting in the work, the right work. The work that sometimes is it's hard, you know? It's hard because I wanna make it hard. <laughs> it's hard because I don't wanna accept the hard work. It's hard because yep. It takes time and effort and energy. And when I know that and I accept that, things get easier. Training camps for a fight are fucking hard. Training camps for a competition are hard. For a black belt, for anything in general. It's just the same way when we train for anything in life. When anyone is training to have a child or not even that, you want to have a car one day. You want to buy yourself something nice. You want to get a new promotion. Whatever the case is, you still got to train hard and you have to accept that there's going to be a lot of work to be done. So that's key. Acceptance. Acceptance and taking small little steps that are going to help you get to the bigger goal. They're going to help you move forward, not backwards, forward. And even if you have to leave some people behind in the process, that's okay. Because either they catch up, they catch up, or they're going to weigh you down. <laughs> I know for a fact, because I live it every day, sometimes I make those big decisions that, yeah, they're tough, but it is what it is. Like, I have to. This is, this is my life. This is what I chose. And I'm not going to put the blame on anybody else for my decisions and the consequences of things, but myself. So you just got to ask yourself, like, if, are these decisions that I'm making, are they going to help me move forward? And what am I doing now that's going to help me get there? And how do I start? And when do I start? Am I going to start now or later? Now. So something to think about. Don't worry about the future. One day we're going to sit down together and say, it was hard, but we made it.